guys. Yeah, I thought I wouldn't be doing another video today, but uh, as you missed that there, there's a lot of interesting stuff concerning my favorite subjects of uh, Star Wars and uh, Star Trek. And now this video is about Star Trek. Um, there's a there's a very interesting article on the website called treknews.net. I will of course post an article on it on in its entirety um, through a link that I will post on the description box below. Uh, but this article on the website is about would and should NASA inherit um, or comply with the Star Trek's um, um, one of Star Trek's main philosophical points, which is called the Prime Prime Directive, and of uh, and as m most of you people, if you are following Star Trek. No, the prime uh, directive is a set of rules that, and I'm paraphrasing here, I don't have the text of the uh, prime directive in front of me, but I'm paraphrasing with the, meme, the meaning uh, and the function of the uh, Star, uh, Starfleet's prime directive is that Starfleet officers or crew members or any other persons on under Starfleet's command isn't allowed uh, to involve themselves in the natural uh, like uh, natural state and natural state of development of alien cultures in any way uh, even if the intention is uh, like well intentioned they shouldn't do that because uh, it, it it could alter the course of natural evolution of that uh, alien race. And uh, this article that I, I, I've been reading um, discusses um, that would NASA um, like uphold uh, same kind of uh, same kind of um, set of rules as the prime directive when they are going for example to Mars and there was a panel held uh, in one of the co comic cons in uh, the United States and in the panel there was a representative of NASA that said that most likely NASA wouldn't um, like uh, uphold the prime directive um, at uh, in, at Mars or on Mars um, because it said somewhere here um, that the uh, the life forms fi found on Mars surface surface would be in microscopic um, scale, and that to me um, raises some interesting points uh, because I think uh, I for some reason I think that any life being in any state is valuable and should be protected uh, from. Um, like outside influences so in that sense I really do think that NASA should inherit and uphold um, something like uh, Star Trek's prime directive because um, I thought that NASA uh, is um, primarily Prime, uh, NASA's primary function, function would be um, scientific research and not uh, meddling in other planets affairs if you get my meaning and if you are a scientist um, in my mind your primary mission isn't to 
disrupt um, a um, natural life form, in this case an alien life form, that's that's just me, and I I found I find that NASA wouldn't be doing this. I uh, uh, like uh, coming up with their own kind of prime directive uh, when it comes to um, researching alien cultures. I find that very surprising um, because I, as a Star Trek fan, um, I'm, I'm very fond of the Prime Directive in in its all its glory because the idea that you you just go around um, doing research and making like uh, first contacts with alien cultures is very appealing to me. Of course, uh, like some of you must know, um, the problem with Star Trek is of course that many times um, the ship's companies don't operate uh, uh, according to, uh, to the Prime Directive themselves. They many times get involved in, let's call it, local politics and local matters. So, in that sense, the um, Prime Directive is more of a philosophical thing than in, in, anything put into practice many times. But it's a nice idea, anyhow. So, um, I find I find this uh, a notion that NASA would go there and basically like rob the place of natural resources kind of um, appalling because um, let's take an example about uh, how, how it could be done right. Um, I guess. Many people have seen the movie The Martian, which is absolutely one of my favorite movies of the last few years, and uh, directed by Ridley Scott. It's about this uh, astronaut being left alone in Mars, and he has to like come up with ways to. Um, basically survive on the planet and uh, even he um, uses, lo uh, uses local Martian um, uh, like uh, resources but he doesn't interfere with the planet and uh, that's a very noble thing uh, because that's the way it should be done and and uh, that's the way it should be done all all, to, all the time. So I I can understand the <coughs> NASA's <coughs> in some sense. I can understand that somebody at NASA would think that the something like the Prime Directive is a, a pack of mumbo jumbo that doesn't mean anything because it's a work of science fiction and blah blah blah. But actually, it, 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 it it's a thing that should be taken seriously, um, really. And um, yeah, um, I think that's that's all I all I have to say about it. Um, to repeat my to repeat my own uh, opinion on this matter is that. Whenever human beings go anywhere in the solar system and beyond, they should act in a way that is very close to the prime directive of a uh, prime directive of the Starfleet. Even though it's the Starfleet is a work of fiction, but it's an it's a nice philosophy anyhow. So, um, yeah, those are my ten cents to the discussion. Uh, as always, as I stated before, um. I will leave a link uh, in the description to the article so you can go and read it yourself. Um, as you saw, um, comment, like, dislike, um, that would help me a lot. 
and have a nice day or morning or night whenever you're watching this wherever you are watching this and i'll be back back to you soon bye bye